Asadullah from Canada. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh. How are you? Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh, Hayyakallah. What can I do for you? Sheikh, I have just one question. Yes, sir. Um, my question is I'm confused about these modern day Western scholars, especially here in Canada where I'm from. And it's like some, some of them are contradicting each other in the way you have to follow certain rulings. So I want to go back to the original real scholars in Islam. And the only ones I know are Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh ibn Uthaymeen, and Sheikh al Albani. I was wondering if you could give a list of a few other scholars uh, as well, because these are the only three trusted scholars that I know of, and uh, possibly recommend some books in English for for people like me who don't understand Arabic. That's all. Barakallahu feek. Uh, Brother Asadullah's um, question is very delicate. And unfortunately, some, I won't say all, some of the Dais, the students of knowledge, whether in Canada or in the US, due to the media, social media, due to the internet, due to the publicity, and due to the thirst of the people to some form of knowledge, they have been inflated way above their actual size. And this is not a problem, people inflate us more than our, our actual, uh, actual size. The problem is when it gets into your head and you actually think that, whoa, I have grown out of Salafiyya. I can say things. I'm not obliged to listen to scholar so-and-so or imam so-and-so. I am a uh, uh, Rambo. This is totally wrong. And unfortunately, the people in, the, in, in Northern America and in some parts of Europe are misguided by such people. They're students of knowledge. They're not scholars. And so many of them, you would not miss a single lecture without finding a list of wrong things they're saying. So what you're doing, Asadullah, is the right thing. Go back to the real scholars. The scholars who had passed away, who died, so that you are certain that they won't be influenced with money, with power, or intimidated to say something haram. Go with the scholars who are consistent. Don't go to people who camouflage and change colors. So 20 years ago, they used to say tomatoes, and now they say tomatoes, and they keep on changing their positions according to the highest bidder. Stick with those who are consistent to the Quran and to the Sunnah with understanding of the favorite three generations. So, Sheikh Al bin Baz, Sheikh uh, uh, Ibn Uthaymeen, Sheikh Al Albani, these were the top three that the Ummah were guided by in contemporary times. You have Sheikh Salih Al Fouzan, you have Sheikh uh, uh, Abdul Karim Al Khadir, you have Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Barak, you have so many of shuyukhs here and there that you can, not, not only in Saudi Arabia, there are so many shuyukhs in uh, uh, Egypt, in, in Kuwait, in uh, 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 Jordan, elsewhere, that you can follow. But you have to always have in the back of your mind that no one is sacred. We respect them, we love them. They know much more than we do, but we have to filter whatever anyone says in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah. And the majority of the scholars who follow the Quran and Sunnah would point out and say that this is right. If someone says one opinion that does not relate to the others and it doesn't sound logical and it's not complying with the Quran and Sunnah, definitely you respect that person who is from the great scholars, but this opinion of his, we do not follow and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.